I basically put in highlighting cap for small heads. <laughs> Say hello to nature. Hello, nature. Like tinting brushes, that one's like slightly graded and one's flat. I think it's been chewed by the dog. Look like an absolute wally. Yeah, I definitely suggest getting some proper highlighting cat bags. It's a hard night life for us. These nobody come to the front door right now. <laughs> this could be mortally embarrassing. The leaves are turning brown. Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So this week I am highlighting my hair. This has been a long awaited, for me, probably more so than you girls, a long awaited video for me to do. I was supposed to be doing it last week, but I was a poorly bear. You wouldn't have wanted to see me on camera last week at all. I was not in a good place. Feeling a lot better and I'm ready to get this hair sorted out. I've got about two inches, maybe even more actually to be fair, about two and a half inches of root growth so it is more than ready to be attacked normally as you know I would be doing a full head bleach if you're watching this video as a newbie or you're watching this video because you genuinely want to do your highlighting at home please note I am not a hairdresser never have been a hairdresser but I have always done my hair at home I've picked up bits along the way so and I've never had any major disasters when I shaved my head just after Brittany did it that's another story so I had two options today either to do my solid root color which I have done in previous videos so if that is something that again you're interested in, after watching this video you can also watch that video to make your decision or I pull my hair through a cap which yes massively old-fashioned and yes I think they still do do it in some of these kind of old backstreet old lady kind of hairdressers so yeah so that's what's sold it to me because <laughs> I'm an old lady so this is a cap that I've used before as you can tell it's got some dead hair hanging out of it what I don't get about these caps is why they don't already have them pre-hold they've got them dented to give you um, an idea of where to put your plucker um, but you've actually got to physically get your plucker in first and getting that in and not stabbing your brain is like nigh on impossible so unless I just pre prick them which I don't particularly want to have to do we'll just give it a go anyway so this is the one that I've used before this is actually quite big for my head as you can tell it looks like a World War II helmet it's quite big on my head I've got quite a petite head I ordered this from uh, Amazonian and I put in I basically put in highlighting cap for small heads <laughs> This is, this is what turns up at my door. So as you can see, it's completely vacuum packed. I haven't opened it. Right, products wise, uh, Jerome Russell, they don't test on animals apparently, um, which is huge news to me because I used to use it and it was my favored bleaching brand. Comes in this box which is the Jerome Russell B Blonde High Lift Powder Bleach. There's four sachets in each box. Uh, oh, hang on, no, there's five sachets in each box. And they come like so. For my amount of hair, normally I'd use two sachets and there's normally a little bit left over, but that's okay. Um, and then with that, mixed into your mixing bowl, which is here, I would mix my bleach so today i'm using 40 vol 40 vol is actually the strongest highest lift leech that you can get off the shelf i would certainly not recommend this if you are doing your block roots like i would in a previous video i'd either use a 20 volt or a 30 volt reason being with highlights you're pulling all of your hair through first and then you're applying at pretty much the same time the bleach. When you're doing block, you're starting at the back, applying another layer, applying another layer, applying. By the time you've got to the front, these little guys have been developing for about 20 minutes, 15, 20, 25 minutes, depending on how quick you are at, at, at the process. So down here will be ready and desperate to be washed off. And up here, you've probably still got quite a lot of yellow in there. So the highlighting, because all the hair's coming through at the same time and you're sticking this on at the same time, you can afford to put a higher volume bleach on your hair I hope that makes sense but anyway <laughs> this is like famous last words touch wood uh, that I don't end up burning my hair off but yeah I went for the higher and also it should take a lot less time as well anyway blah 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 I'm talking so much that lot will be mixed together and then I will apply it using my tinting brushes I've got a slanted brush which I kind of use 
for mainly around the hairline. And then I've got the thicker, kind of more flatter brush, which will be coming down along the crown and along the middle section. You can tell I'm struggling with my with what words I'm using. These are just like tinting brushes. That one's flat, slightly graded and one's flat. I think it's been chewed by the dog. Anyway, right, that is enough of me waffling on. I have got about three different mirrors. Um, I'm all set up. I'm gonna grab myself a cup of coffee and then we're gonna get going. So pray for me, ladies, pray. <laughs> Love ya. Leaves are turning brown. Right guys and girls, right guys and gals. Um, I am conscious that it isn't just an all the ladies video this because there's a lot of guys as well who highlight their hair. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'm not gonna put you off majorly. Right, so the, I've just, I'm just opening the cap for you, the one that came from Amazon. Already it is a much thinner, silicon they still look so big i mean look just as, just as a pre-warning this is what i look like with a giant condom on my head watch this face so it comes with this hook hopefully you can see it um slightly hooked over there which is what grabs the hair and pulls it through all right that's got to be a good two and a half inches wow this is the longest i've allowed my roots to get like I said, I was supposed to be doing this um, last week. Oh my goody aunt, that is one hell of a root. Don't know if you can see if I turn that way, you probably will be able to see that I've got root here quite a light ash. When you compare it to bleached hair, um, your natural hair looks quite dark. I've got blue, I've got naturally blonde hair. Well, I have actually, if you were to put it up against L'Oreal color chart, natural hair color chart, I am like quite a fair, fair color. Um, but against the bleach, it is quite dark. But we're gonna correct that today, aren't we ladies? We're going to absolutely bosh this. <laughs> Right, there we have it. That is my hair parted in the middle, combed out. They always say comb, comb your hair out really well before you apply the cap. Also, another heads up, if your hair is fairly long, my hair is like medium length, so it's ideal for caps, cap highlighting. Short or medium hair is ideal for cap highlighting. Any longer than that, and you will struggle a little bit when you're pulling your, your hair through the cap, it can tangle, it can be quite painful. I mean, you know, this isn't a no pain process. It can pull because you are in effect pulling the hair away from the scalp and through this plastic cap. So prepare for a little bit of, you know, no pain, no gain, as they say, no pain, no gain. Right, so there we have it. That's my hair in a ponytail. I would say that's about two, two and a half inches long. Right, firstly, I'm gonna try the purple cap. come to this. It's okay, it's not that tight. Um, I'm gonna try my other one. I'm gonna go for the new one, and I'll tell you why I'm gonna go for the new one, because it hasn't already got holes in it. Next thing you do, because you don't want this, this stops your eye line, it stops you being able to see what you're doing, is you wanna cut round it, just to try and avoid your hair. I was about to say don't do this at home, but obviously this is what this video is all about. All right, so that's given me a little bit more of a visual of what's going on in there. And so the process starts. Leaves are turning brown. Right, once you're in, you hook it out, and then I always pull it through with at about that point. So I hook it and let it move across and pull it there. Because if you hook it and pull it with the hook, you're gonna rip the hair. So you hook it and then move your thing across and pull it out. You'll see what I'm doing as I'm going along. The other thing is it doesn't really matter where you start on the head. You can start at the front, you can start in the middle, you can start at the back. It doesn't matter as long as it's all pulled through. go too wide a circumference once you're in. You really want to pick the hair that's directly under the hole. So as you can see, I've got a nice little small handful of hair that I've pulled through already. Um, they're all really good size. Um, you can see the root and you can see the bleach. So it's nice, nice and clear when it's coming through. So I'll just carry on around the hair doing exactly as I'm doing at the moment. 
Now when you've got enough and it's kind of getting in your way, um, you can actually just clip it with a clip and then that gets it out of your eye, eye line. You need your eyes for this. going really well I'm really happy with it actually it's coming through really really nicely so I'm just going to continue now I'm kind of edging towards the back now which and it would be great if I had another pair of hands or one of my friends could be here to put it through but in reality that's not going to happen if you're not just doing highlights around your face that you get somebody in to help you or a parent or somebody <laughs> if they do really hurt you that you're not going to fall out too badly with them So just keep keep combing it through just to make sure that there's no knots there. I mean, it's not the most attractive look, is it? You've got to go through these processes. <laughs> probably halfway there. It probably looks more, but if I turn around, there's nothing there. time for me to tell you about my Instagram if you guys aren't following me on Instagram that'd be awesome if you could um, also there's loads of stuff that goes on there that isn't included in my uh, YouTube channel videos um, so extra extra pictures extra information discount codes for products that I'm using and stuff um, so definitely check that out that's hashtag all the ladies YouTube I'm just trying to kind of feel where where the hair is that I'm pulling it through and then trying to kind of, yeah, I was hopefully I'll be able to do an even load all the way up to the top. Um, and then I'll just keep checking in the mirror, kind of being able to look behind me and just make sure that it's as even as it can possibly be. Okay, guys, right, so I've done the best I can at the back. I'm happy with the front. I've pulled through some good sections. You can see my root color there. Um, it's pretty evenly pulled through. I didn't keep to the, the holes. I actually couldn't see most of them when I was doing them myself. Right, so we're gonna go in, well, sorry. Firstly, I've brushed my hair through with a really dense brush. Now, the reason I use a brush with a really dense kind of real bristles at the, at the root here is because it really helps to pick up any tangles. And now I've done that, I look like an absolute wally. Two sachets of this with two bottles of this because it's one sachet to one bottle. Ordinarily, I wouldn't wear gloves, but got my new nails on, so I don't want to ruin those. So I have got myself some nice rubber latex gloves for this special occasion. These are actually pretty cool. I think they're like cleaning gloves. I've mixed it all up. I've used two sachets and two bottles of the bleach. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky because I've got to try and keep as much of the bleach on the roots and not on the lengths of the hair. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and uh, start applying. It doesn't matter where I start, but normally this can be done in about five minutes. So here it goes. And apply just to the roots. Almost as if I was doing a full head, um, then I would lift it up, go through there with my tail comb and apply to the other side. Wake me. about doing it through a highlighting cap as well is that you're not touching your scalp so you're able to completely saturate it right to the which obviously won't be the root real root because your real root is underneath but it's protecting your scalp so you're able to be a little bit more or rather less cautious about where you put it Not 
the distance Oh yes or no High or low Whatever they do Hey Macarena Don't I look Fetching, oh my god. Please nobody come to the front door right now. This could be mortally embarrassing. It is lightening already. It's quite quick to take this because like I said, it's a 40 bowl. As you can see, I'm being a little bit slapdash with the side bits, but whatever. It's only hair, Emily, it's only hair. So I'm gonna cover that over now um, and sit down with a cup of coffee for 20 minutes. Okay, the only bag I could find <laughs> was an ASOS bag. So I'm gonna stick this on my head and go and blow dry it and then I will be back. Oh, 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 oh. It's a hard night life for us. It's a hard night life for us. Highlighting, we are mad. Highlighting at home, we're mad. I think I've got a look here. This could be at London Fashion Week. 12 minutes. I'm just gonna have a little look. I did put the hairdryer over it. So yeah, as you can see, Hopefully you can see it's really lifted to kind of like a dark pale yellow, if that makes sense. I wouldn't take it off yet. I think I've got another 15 minutes potentially on that. Oh no. I need this cup of coffee. Right, <clears throat> I've had a crumpet and I've had a cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna put some new gloves on because now I'm gonna pull through um, the roots, bleach that's on the roots. I'm gonna pull it through to the ends just so there isn't any kind of stepping. Pull the bleach through. Yeah, I definitely suggest getting some proper highlighting cap bags. I'm on my second ASOS bag now and who knew that an ASOS bag could double up as a highlighting cap bag? So you can see it's really, really pale yellow. It will always look paler with the product on. So don't look at it now and think, oh my God, that's the color it's gonna be. That isn't the color it's gonna be because it's got the cream on it. There's a tiny, tiny bit of warmth there. A hairdresser would probably wash it off at this point. I'm gonna give it another five because it's my hair and it's my process. Fingers crossed. Right, so I've come upstairs. Um, this light's probably a little bit clearer as to what's going on with the hair. It's been on for 40 minutes. Um, so yeah, the best thing to do now is to rinse off. You don't pull the cap off now. You rinse, rinse it off here, you'll see anyway. Um, and then I'll pull the cap off and you'll be able to see what's going on. So it's also lightened up um, the ends as well. So once that's washed off, that'll be nice and bright. Here you can see where the um, bleach hasn't quite gone down far enough, which is a bit annoying, but I don't think that'll be too noticeable. This is where it's so important, the whole, the, uh, the actual highlighting and bringing the right amount of hair through. The hairline is so difficult. Um, I pulled as much as I could through at the hairline. And do you know what? I think once it's dry, it won't be so noticeable in fact i know it won't be so noticeable overall i am super chuffed and and that is just with uh, silver shampoo as well god i love that stuff it's amazing um right i'll be checking back in with you once right once i've rinsed and gone back down in the studio okay bye okay right <laughs> i just thought i'd kind of bring you i've just obviously come down from upstairs um i just thought i would i actually haven't had a look myself so let's do this in natural daylight right here she comes off. 
effect. Not bad at all, is it, guys and girls? I'm chuffed with that. I love the front bit. I think I'm definitely gonna be going back to highlights because I just think it's a little bit more interesting. It's got more texture at the root. You can see here, you can see clearly there where um, the uh, I didn't pull it through or I, I don't know what happened there. These are great. They come all the way down to the root. Um, this one here didn't. However, once I'm blow dried, that you can see down the center as well. That's not a bad job, is it, for a home job? Um, and also I pulled it through to the end, so the rest of it should be really light as well. That is not bad, hey? I'm still looking for you. What do you think? I'd be interested to know your thoughts, ladies and gents. It's a home DIY highlighting video. <laughs> what more can I say? Yeah, I'm pretty chuffed. I am pretty chuffed with that highlighting sesh. Um, I'm gonna dry it now so then you can see it a little bit better. God, I love this tool. I absolutely love this tool. It does everything. Volumizes, straightens, curls, dries. <laughs> I am like really, really pleasantly surprised. Not surprised, I'm just really pleasantly happy <laughs> um, that it didn't go completely drastically wrong. So yeah, it's, what it's done is it's broken up the, the roots and it's still got some of my natural color there. I, there was a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, I, I just didn't obviously pull it down enough, there's a bit of a gap there. Just with the end of a cotton bud, with some of that bleach mixture, which I still have by the sink, I'm happy to then just brush on a little bit there and then just put a little bit more of that shampoo on. Um, that's if I'm being really fussy, but I'm just, yeah, I'm super, super chuffed. Because what this does now is it takes me from not having to get my hair done for another six to eight weeks. So it just helps carry through. And I think as well with highlights, you don't have to maintain it as much as you do a block head bleach. So I'm happy. I'm super happy actually. And also the fact that I pulled it through to the ends has also lightened up the ends somewhat as well. So it's brighter and it's lifted around the face. And I just lo I love that kind of dark light effect. So yeah, I'm super Super chuffed. I mean, it's probably not as good as it would be if if I'd had it done foils at a hairdresser's, but I'm no hairdresser. But for eight quid and, you know, killed a day, didn't it? <laughs> not for you, it's for about 25 minutes, but it killed a day for me. <laughs> I'll link all the products I used um, to, to create this look down below. If you have not subscribed, I would love it if you would press that red button, please. That really, really helps me out. And also follow me on Insta, please. Instagram, hashtag all the ladies YouTube. And until next week, take care, stay safe. Leaves are turning brown I'm still looking for you Snow is falling down I'm still searching for you